my name is Jen. Today we're looking at standing tall using a block. The block will go in between our legs. You can use it either long ways or short ways, whichever you prefer. And this is one of my favorite movements to create more length and space in the body. To get started, choose which way you're going to use your block. Maybe the first time you can use it long ways and maybe the second time short ways. And you'll stand with your toes matched. You'll bring your feet as much as you can underneath you, given that you have a block between your legs. The block is high up um, near your pubic bone. And take a look to see that your toes are evenly matched. You can place your hands on your pelvis to help the dis pelvis descend downwards. From here, just lift and spread your toes and lay them back down. Really feel the big toe ball mounts. Lift and spread your toes. Lay them back down. With the feet activated now, think about that block being very centered between the two ankles. Good, imagine that there are tree roots growing out of the big toes and each of the toes. The whole sole of the foot descends downward and the legs move downward, the pelvis move downward, but the torso is lifting. And from here, reach your arms out to the side like you're flying. Turn the palms upwards and reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. You can have your arms wide or you can bring them a little bit more narrow, whichever is most comfortable. Keep that block in between the two ankles. Keep the feet going downwards and the fingertips reaching upwards, almost like you're trying to touch the clouds. Turn the palms away from each other and then fly spreading the fingers, reaching the fingers away from each other, keeping the crown of the head lifted as the arms descend. The second time we'll try the block going narrow and short. So the block will go in between your legs. The block can help activate the inner leg line and lift the spine. So from here, place your hands on your waist again, opening the sternum, lift and spread those toes, lay them back down, lift and spread the toes, lay them back down. Make sure that your toes are on the same imaginary line you can feel your two frontal hip bones, that one is not in front of the other. Press the feet downward into the floor. And then reach the arms out to the side again, spreading the fingertips, reaching the fingertips away from each other. The arms go upward, the palms face each other. You can have your hands nice and wide, you can have the arms more narrow. And let's imagine that we're hanging from monkey bars here. So as we hang from the monkey bars, our spine grows, our legs grow, and we just create more space. Take a few breaths here. Feel the circular action of the breath the front, the side, the back. Turn the palms away from each other and reach far away again, getting taller as the arms descend. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I am a patient, advocate and practitioner focusing on scoliosis, spinal fusions, and back care. To get more information, go to scoliosisandbackcare.com.